Hey everybody, this is Chris with Chris and Andrew outside. Andrew and I are down at the Cowlitz River right now. I hope you can see those. That is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of smelts swimming by right in front of us. And there's some people down river that are already netting, but the season does not open till eight o'clock and it's about 7.57 right now. Or excuse me, 7.07. .07. So I got 50 some odd minutes to wait. We've got hundreds of them swimming by in front of us. It's killing us. Come on, Eight o'clock, go. Chris is off to the races. Oh, geez. Look at that. <laughs> One more scoop. Chris got it in about two and a half. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See what time it is. A minute. One minute. And Chris already has his limit. Well. Yep. That's it. Look at that. There's the proof. One minute. One minute. That's awesome. Yep. Are you feeling any hit it? You might have to go a little deeper. Oh, flip. Gotta flip that net in. There you go. So, yeah, go out there a little bit more and then, and then there you go. Close to the bottom, bump over the rocks. You feeling the fish hit it? Tat, 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 tat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're still getting them. All right, you guys. There's Andrew's first scoop. I'll give Andrew a hand here. All right. Yep, just... There we go. get more than that. <laughs> Another one like that, he'd be good. Oh yeah. Yep. I don't know. It's probably only seven pounds, but I don't want to take any chances. 
So, huh? No. No, mine was settled. Yours, we got the same amount. So, all right, you guys. Andrew's got his limit. I got my limit. What do you think about that, Andrew? Fun. It's Andrew's first time, you guys. I'm happy to take him. So, yeah, awesome. he drove. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, appreciate you. Uh, Appreciate you watching. We just wanted to show you Washington State's 2021 smelt season. Five hours only, opened at eight o'clock. What time is it now, Andrew? Eight twelve. It's eight twelve right now, so we're done. And we're gonna head out, we're gonna go rock hounding now. So appreciate you watching you guys. Like and subscribe and hey, don't forget, go outside. <laughs> Hey everybody, we just got back from smelting. I mean, literally just got back. And so we figured that since we showed you catching them, we're gonna show you how to clean them and cook them. So this is a real easy method. So one of the things that I do though, I wanna point this out, is that I take all the females, all the hens. So this is a buck, this is a hen. You see how shiny and fat this one is? The buck is dull and and really thin, real skinny right through there. I smoke all the hens, and I smoke bucks too, but all the hens get smoked, I leave the eggs in them, and then it smokes the eggs up and it tastes absolutely delicious. Don't say ooh, don't say yucky, it's delicious. Okay, so, take the bucks, take scissors, you got the uh, pectoral fins here, get the scissors behind the pectoral fins, cut the head off, and then we go right in here, cut the guts out. Now we've got clean fish. I like to scrub some of the slime off the side. You don't always get it off. It really doesn't matter, I guess. So we're gonna rinse this a little bit. I'm gonna put it in there. That's how I'm gonna clean all of these. Show you a couple. Scissors just right behind the pectoral fins and then up the vent. Take your thumb, push the guts out. It's out. All you gotta do, and, and some people don't even do that. So we got two right there. So we're gonna clean a whole bunch more. I'll show you one more time, guys. There's your fins. Take your scissors, grip it good. Cut the head off. Put in the anal vent there. Split it open. Push it out clean okay it just needs to be rinsed so we're gonna clean the rest of these and then I'm gonna show you how how I cook them super simple super easy if you've never gone for them before this is the easiest way to prepare them. but you can smoke them too and they're, they're so good smoke anyways we'll be right back with you all right everybody so rinse the fish nice and clean quite beautiful everything on there is edible okay even the heads and the guts were edible but I took them off just because they fit in the pan better no. <laughs> so what I what I got right here is Andrew brought out some flour for me I put some onion powder and some black pepper in it okay you want to put a little salt in there go ahead so that's it the fish freshly washed we will drop them in this is so easy, you guys. There's no excuse. Drop them in, zip it up, shake it. Okay. There we are. There we are, guys. It's just a fish coated with flour, onion powder, and there might be some pepper in there. Okay. Put them out, let them rest for about five minutes before you cook them. So we're just going to build up. I'm gonna build up a couple rows here. Shake the hell out of them. I'm sorry, shake the heck out of them. And guys, please, I know that you can go down there and catch a lot. Be, res be respectful of your fish that you killed. Kill them, eat them. Smoke them if you need to. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> All right, if you can put that paper towel, Andrew. Be right back all right everybody so we've waited about five minutes we've got the 
smelt here. So waiting that five minutes actually lets the flour hydrate just a little bit with the water that was on the smelt and it sticks to your fish just a little bit better. You're still gonna get a bunch of flour in the bottom of the pan, but a bunch is gonna stick to your fish. So we're outside right now. We're using the burner outside in respect to Mrs. Andrew. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna fry these buggers up nice and brown. As soon as they're done, I'm gonna transfer them over onto here. Got a little paper towel to soak up the oil. And we'll sprinkle just a little bit of salt to finish them at the end. So, should be hot enough. Almost, pretty much. All right, no reason to put more than four in the pan, in this pan anyways. All right. So we're gonna fry these up for several minutes on both sides with smell. Other fish I don't like to overcook, but with smelt, because they have a consistency that stays really moist all the time, I cook the heck out of them so that they get really nice and dark brown so that they're a little bit crispier on the outside. The meat's gonna be softer. So if you've never had smelt and you eat other fish, one thing about smelt is the consistency is that it is a little softer. These are the Yulikon from the Columbia River. So they're coming up into the Cowlitz. So that's where we were this morning, was on the Cowlitz River just uh, by Castle Rock. So gonna overdo these just a bit so they get really nice and dark brown on the side. We're gonna do both sides and then take them out, put them over here, put a little salt on them, on them immediately. We'll finish them all up. All right, everybody, it's been it a couple minutes. It's gonna depend on how much, what your heat is and everything, obviously, okay? So I just flipped them over though. You see they got nice and brown. The tails are getting super crunchy. It's like a potato chip. Nothing, nothing better crunchy on that. So I flipped them and I actually flipped them back again. So they're brown on both sides. I'm just giving the other side a little more brown. I see that's upside down. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go, a little darker. All right, everybody, these are done, so they're coming out. Really nice looking. Remember, treat your food with respect. Okay, real quick while they're still hot, just give them a little bit of shake. They're hot, there's a little bit of oil on there. It'll dissolve that salt, it'll melt right into those fish. So much better. If you got salt on them already, you lose some in the oil, take them out, a little bit of salt at the end, just finish them up. This is light salt, so a little bit less sodium. All right, we're gonna finish cooking the rest of these, and when we're done, we'll, we'll eat some right in front of you so you can see. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we just got done. Andrew's gonna try it the first time. He may or may not like it. It's a little mushier than most fish. So, very mild tasting, right? Yeah. There, we go. there the backbone comes out. And then you just got meat from both sides. And that's it. Oh, and I forgot when I, I ate mine. Mmm. Oh, you gotta have the tail, Andrew. You gotta try the tail. You gotta try the skin too. Oh well, next one. Okay. What do you mean next one? You gotta try this one. Don't waste it. Eat the. Just throw that in your mouth. You gotta try it. Come on, everybody. Look, Andrew's afraid to try the skin. Right. It's really good. It's got lots of flavor in it. All the breading. Yeah. 
good, isn't it? Try the tail. It's like a potato chip, except it's, it's keto friendly, you guys, except for the little bit of flour. Good, isn't it? What do you think? It's, it's not bad for once a year, huh? Yeah. So, and then uh, smoke up the rest. Yep, So that's the plan. All right, you guys, so there it is. If you love these, you really love them. If you don't like them, then you don't like them at all. So, Andrew's on the fence. Yeah. <laughs> so, they'd be better with tartar sauce. That's what he thinks. Yeah, definitely. So. All right, you guys, well, we appreciate you watching, and you get a chance, go outside. Go outside. <laughs>